Today we're going to take a close look at pressure washer burner maintenance, including burner nozzle replacement, electrode settings, burner tuning, as well as standard maintenance practices. Stay tuned. Before we begin, be sure to refer to the manufactured guidelines in regards to safety and burner specifications. If at any time your burner does not appear to be operating properly, immediately contact your qualified service agency for proper consultation. Any misuse of a burner could result in severe personal injury or substantial property damage. The tools we'll be using for today's maintenance include the pressure washer manual, burner manual, flathead screwdriver, 5 16 nut driver, 11 16 wrench, 7 16 wrench, 5 8 wrench, smoke test kit, and a fuel pressure gauge rated to 300 PSI. For pressure washers that meet the UL 1776 standards, a burner control like the Beckett Genesis 7505 must be used. The function of the burner control is to manage the proper startup sequence of the burner and to monitor burner parameters. The burner control is located above the blower motor. Under normal operation, the green LED will be illuminated. There are several issues that could cause the burner control lockout. The first thing to check is if the CAD cell is seeing a flame. The CAD cell is located under the igniter. Remove it by loosening the two upper screws on the igniter door and swinging it open. Clean the CAD cell with a Q-tip. If your burner problem still exists, the next step is to check your burner electrodes and nozzle. The electrodes are located inside the gun assembly and can be slid out by first removing the fuel line and round nut. Check the electrodes closely for cracks. Cleaning them with a brake cleaner makes it much easier to see if there are any cracks. With the electrodes removed, it is a good time to check the burner nozzle. Replacing the burner nozzle is as simple as removing and replacing it with a 5 8 inch wrench. Replacing the electrodes requires setting the proper gap. This is done by loosening the lock nuts and moving the electrode tips to the correct position as stated in the burner manual. If you've cleaned your CAD cell, replace your burner nozzles and check the condition of your electrodes and your burner problem still exists, check your fuel pressure. This is as simple as installing your fuel pressure gauge into the test port and comparing the reading to your machine specifications found in your equipment manual. At this point, if the burner control is still not operating correctly, contact a qualified service technician for further assistance. After your burner is running, it is important to tune the burner for optimum performance. This is done by adjusting the air bands on the burner. Start by inspecting the exhaust of the machine and increase the openings of the air bands until any black smoke is minimized. To reach optimum performance, use a smoke test kit like the Bacharach smoke tester to adjust the burner air bands down to zero smoke. Your settings, such as fuel pressure or burner nozzle selection, might differ based on your air inlet temperatures. Elevation can also affect your burner settings. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below. For more information about Sue products, feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information can be found below. Thanks for watching.